Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this interesting looking timeline here and we're going to be using a free plugin called Divi Enhancer. I found this a little while ago and, and I really like this timeline. It's really handy little feature for enhancing your site if you've got some dates or something that you want to put in timeline format. It makes it very easy to do a quick little alternative section like this. So let's get started. As you know, I've been using the Divi theme for years, I've built hundreds of sites with it, literally hundreds of sites with it, and it just keeps getting better and better. If you want to try it out, check it out from my affiliate link below this video. So first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. And again, we're going to do everything on the front end today. Once enabled, I'm going to just duplicate this section here by hitting the two little squares up here on the section. There we go. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to get rid of this module and we'll start from scratch. Now you can either download the enhancer from their site here. I'll put this link below or you can just go to your plugins and type in Divi Enhancer and it'll install it for you or do a search for it. Divi Enhancer, it'll install it for you. OK, so let's start building our little timeline. So I'm going to I've got a section with a row with two columns on the right hand column. I'm just going to add a new module with a little plus icon here. And when you scroll down, here are the modules that the Divi Enhancer gives you extra to the Divi itself, which is great. So I'm going to hit the timeline one. Funnily enough, as we're making a timeline. And I'll put this across here so we can see what's going on. First thing I want to do is add an item. And you can call it what you want. This is just something to identify it within the module here. I just call this one one and let's say release or whatever it is you want your your title to be and the date 2004 and you can select an icon if you want one for the actual it'll appear on the timeline here I'm just going to use that little one these are the inbuilt Divi icons I'm just going to use that one right there And let's go down a little bit further and we can put some content. I'm just going to copy a bit of text. Lorem Ipsum text here. Which is nonsense text for designers. For adding. Text to places where you've got no actual content just so people can see what it's going to look like with text. And as you can see now we've put the content in that's the sort of basic lineup that we've got now all i want to do is start decorating this a little bit so it's more like what i actually want here now for the background of the actual module itself i'm just going to choose a green color but i think i'm going to i'm going to bring the opacity down quite a bit so it's sort of pale green Obviously, you're going to want to do whatever it is you want to do here. And if we go over to the design tab, the text, that's this text right here. I'm going to leave that is as is. And the heading text, if we go down to the next section, um, let's see, is that H2? What was that h3 that's the h2 obviously because i made it bold there let's make it uppercase i'm going to make it green yeah that's absolutely fine too so let's just hit the check mark and that saves our little module here now in the main module let's go down and set the timeline color and i want it well, i think medium's okay you can have it thin let's leave it on thin why not 
or you can have it polled. Let's set that back to, oh, I guess medium was okay. We'll leave that there. What I want to do also is, is set the actual icon color here. So let's go over to the design tab. Let's go down to the heading text. And I think this is H3 here. I've got that highlighted there. Let's just make it bold and see. Yep, that's it. All right. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger too. I'm going to make it green. Let's bring it up some in size, something like that. There we go. So the only thing I want to change now is the icon and make that a little more interesting looking. So if we go back to our content, let's have a look in here. Styles. Under styles, icon color, I'm going to make it white and I'm going to give it a background color of green. There we go. And again, you can have it small, medium or large. I think medium works again in this case. So there's our first one done. I'm quite happy with that. And of course, to continue on, just going to hit the check mark to save. Back to our content and I'm just going to duplicate it with these two little squares right there or rectangles. Uh, let's see. Four is good. And then just hit the little cog and edit the details of whatever the next one you want to edit is. 2006, I'm just going to change the date. Hit the check mark. I'm not going to change that content. Obviously, if you've got some uh, real data to put in there, you're going to want to change that content. And for the next one, I guess I better put change the identifier, which I didn't do on the other one, just so you can see which modules which. Okay, and if we go back, just scroll back up. As you can see, I put the identifier of three in there. I didn't put one in here. I'll just put that one in there just so you can tell which modules which. And give it a title. I'm just giving it a number for expediency. And let's work on number four. Identifier four. Well, that's quite a long way in the future there. 2010, that's better. All right, and that was pretty quick and simple. Just save that. Save our updates. Hit the little purple button here over to the save. Click it until we get a little check icon. There we go. Now exit the visual builder. And there it is. You've got a nice little timeline. Whoops, I'm looking at the wrong one. Got a nice little timeline. What did that take? Five, five, ten minutes to put that together. And it's pretty impressive. I, I quite like it, you know. It's a free plugin, like I say, and the link I'll put below this video or just search for Divi Enhancer in your plugins, add new. So there you have it. I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.